I really want I really want something that's not water, like a beverage that's not water. I want coffee. I want a, an energy drink. I want something. But we don't have nothing in this house. I've looked everywhere. We don't have nothing. Anyways, I purchased I purchased some things recently. Okay, I purchased some things. Things have been purchased. Every once in a while, and by every once in a while, I mean every season that comes around. I'm like, you know what? I need a little a little refresh, a little a little um new wardrobe a new me you know i'm just kidding that's a little dramatic however there are some things that i have consistently purchased um in the past i'd say like year and so year and some, maybe some change maybe not even a year i don't know i guess it's really not been a year anyways that's irrelevant to the entire plot of this my point being i have kind of cultivated what i refer to as my revolving wardrobe pieces that are it's not a capsule wardrobe because it's much too large to be considered a capsule wardrobe but it's a revolving wardrobe that has pieces in it that will last me for spring summer fall and winter whether that be t-shirts crew necks button downs blazers whatever the case is so some of this is perfume we have some makeup we have all kinds of stuff we have lots of shoes because i'm a big shoe gal um let's get into it okay so some of these things I don't have because they're on their way to me. So I will put up pictures on the screen. I made a list on my phone so I could share with you guys. But I do have one pair right here. So I'm not a flip-flop gal. I'm not a, I'm not a thong flip-flop gal. It's not for me. It's not my journey. Never will be. Etc. Um, I'm a sandal gal. I just am. I saw these sandals. Actually, Chase saw these sandals. We were in Saks Fifth Avenue in West Palm. It was literally so fancy. And these are the Prada sandals. This is what they look like. He saw these and he was like, he just pointed at them. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like, I don't know that I ever would have paid attention to them had he not pointed them out. Because the branding is so subtle. Like, it says Prada. But, like, if I had these on my feet, you wouldn't know that they're Prada. You know what I mean? So, he pointed these out. And then I asked the lady. I said, I'm going to try those on. And I asked her if they had my size. They, in fact, did not have my size because I have a large foot. So, I said, I'll get right on that and order those. And they came in and I love them. I think that I will wear these with so much. They're a gold. They kind of look silver on camera, but they're they're very much so gold. They will go with so much that I wear. I wear only gold jewelry. I like I just love these shoes. And I feel like they're so classy, you know, and like the branding of them, like I said, is very subtle. So it's just a nice little, a nice little sandal, a nice little cute summer sandal moment. Um, next up, I have a story about this one, and I'm gonna I'm gonna post a TikTok about it too, but anyways so the guy that chase lives with in florida uh we started talking about colognes one day because he like bought new, two new creed clones or something and he said that i had to be at the house or he wanted me to be at the house i don't know like long story short we got on the topic of colognes and whatnot and we were going to Saks, and so he was like uh if you don't care pick these clones up and i said point blank period and it was the bond number nine clones so i went in there to get those colognes for him and i ended up not getting him a single cologne but what did i do i got myself the greenwich village bond number nine but here's the story behind it so these are first of all outrageous outrageous so if you're like oh i'll go sniff that be prepared to give maybe you know seven pints of plasma to do it nevertheless i am a perfume girl i'm a perfume connoisseur you guys know this a lot of my channel and tiktok etc are focused around perfume and body sprays etc and I went in there and I was like, I really, really, really want a signature scent. Like, I want a scent that's like, that's my go-to. That is me. That's what I want to smell like, etc. And I had seen so many people post about Bond Number 9 and about, <coughs> oh my gosh, Tribeca um, specifically. And I was like, I smelled it. And I was like, that's not really my journey, you know. I, let, I would spray it on a card, let Chase smell it. Spray this one on a card, let Chase smell it. He was just sitting there, you know, like overwhelmed. But God love his heart. And then I sprayed this one, the Greenwich Village. And... I sprayed it on my arm. I sprayed the card and he was like, oh, I really like that. Then I sprayed it on my arm like later to see if he still liked it, like liked the smell of me. And I let him smell my arm and this man looked up at me and smiled. And he was like, that smells so good while he was smiling. I said, I'll have a gallon. I'll have a gallon is what I'll have. Um, so immediately, obviously, I purchased the largest size they had. They didn't, I didn't get it in store. I ordered it. Like these, I ordered them together. And um, I love this. The notes on it are so different, so different. That let me pull it up actually, because Bond Number no. Nine has a very like different scent blend. The way that they do things is just, it's just, it's just different. I've never smelled a number, a number what? I've never smelled a, a scent like this. So the notes in this 
Arcasis, Cassis, I don't know, lychee, mandarin, peony, water lily, patchouli, jasmine petals, ambronx, peach musk, vanilla, oak moss, and praline. So it has a, a, a very, like you can smell that praline as the base because it has a very like vanilla sort of scent and it's warm, but then you have like a little bit of the patchouli and you a little bit of like a sweet fruity. That's what, how I would smell it. It's like vanilla, like a deep vanilla mixed with like a fruity scent and it just smells so good on your skin and it's a very different kind of fragrance and you guys know that I'm all about that. And also like, yes, I really like the fragrance, but the fact that Chase smiled whenever he smelled this on my arm, I... I could have thought it smelled like absolute trash and I'd be like, we'll take the bottle. We'll take seven, actually. Don't, price tag, don't care. We'll take it. Come on, you know. So, um, she's a keeper. I love this. I'm going to continue using it. Also, the whole rest of the day, like, we went to dinner and we were, like, shopping around in West Palm and stuff. And every time I would, like, walk in a door or my arm would, like, move or, like, he rolled down the window and I could smell it. And I was like, I have to get that. Like, I have, there's no option. So I was surprising him because he was like, he really liked it and I didn't buy it that day, obviously. And so I told him, you know, later on, I was like, hey, guess what? I bought that perfume. Okay, dokie. Let's get into the Sephora haul. I have some Sephora items. I got the new Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wands. And I got it, got it in the shade Pillow Talk Pink Pop. Pink Pop. What? They're all Pillow Talk. I got the shade Pink Pop and Dream Pop. So it's these two shades. It's a little bit of a darker red and a little bit of a pink. I have not used these yet, so we will see. I also picked this up because I've wanted an oil forever that was non-comedogenic and acne safe. And Ula Henriksen, you guys know that I love Ula Henriksen, came out with this, this one. It's the Hydra Balance um, Hydra Barrier Nourishing Face Oil. And I have been using it. I was in Florida with Chase. Um and my skin was peeling off and I used it all over my forehead and I used it like on my just on my skin in general and it looked it helped my skin so much and I just loved it it didn't cause any like breakouts or anything like that so loved that I picked up the um rare beauty blush in the shade encourage I like this shade just fine um it's just not my favorite like I just love a bright pink blush so I love happy from them and you know like I'm just I'm just sticking with that um, I picked up three of the House Labs foundations. This is my favorite foundation probably of all time. I've talked to you guys about this before. I picked up the shades 400 Medium Deep Cool, 415 Medium Deep Cool, and 340 Medium Deep Cool um, for my summer skin tone. I really don't know. I'm just going to have to play around and see. I obviously don't want to keep all these, but I got them um, to have as like little testers, you know, so I can figure out what shade I actually am going to be. And then the other things I picked up are these Giorgio Armani concealers. I have the shade 6 and I'm like literally have used it so much it's almost gone. And I've told you guys like how much I love it and how much I feel like it's it's just the best concealer in the entire world for using in, in place of foundation or for extra coverage or something like that. It just looks beautiful. But I needed a darker or I needed actually just multiple darker shades because all I had was 6. So I picked up these two. This is the shade 10 and this is the shade 9. Is that right? Yeah. So 10 and 9, and that's what I have on my face today. I mixed them both to have, like, kind of my perfect undertone and everything. And I've been loving, loving, loving those. Um, this is a random, random throw-in, but I figured I would just tell you guys. You guys know, if you follow me for a while, that I'm a big reader. <gasps> I hope to God that's FedEx. Please let it be FedEx. I'm waiting on a lip gloss shipment. Also, no tea, no shade. Like, if you, it is FedEx, thank God. If you work at FedEx or if, like, your husband or wife or I, I don't know, your family works at FedEx, the FedEx here absolutely sucks so bad. And if it's supposed to arrive that day, you can just like rest assured it's going to arrive two to three, day, three days later. It was supposed to arrive earlier this week. I just, I knew that it was not going to come. Anyways, um, I'm a big reader. This 101 Essays That Will Change the Way You Think by Brianna Weist. Yeah. Um, I had seen it on TikTok and I had seen like people talk about it and stuff. And I was like, well, let me go ahead and purchase it. It's one of the best things I ever did. I read this book in like less than a week and it, I highlight in these sort of books, if it's like a self-help or like educational book, I highlight. If it's like fiction, Colleen Hoover sort of vibes, I'm not highlighting that. Like, let's be honest, I don't need to highlight nothing in Colleen Hoover. She's crazy. Good books. But anyways, um, yeah, like this chapter is the knowing doing gap. Why we avoid doing what's best for us and how to conquer resistance for good. 
clearly I really enjoyed some things she had to say on this. But it's just a really good book. You guys should pick it up. Enjoy it. Another one that I picked up, I love, love, love podcasts. One of the big things that I did that I felt like made such a difference in my well-being um, for whenever I was in Florida is every single day I would go on a five-mile walk, which is a really long walk, but the neighborhood was beautiful. And I really didn't have that much to do besides like emails and that sort of thing. I'd done all my work. Um, so I would go and listen to podcasts and listen to sermons and stuff. And I love, love, love Dr. Joe Dispenza. So he came out with this book called Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. And he talks about neuroscience and um, just how the brain works, how our emotional bonds work, all kinds of stuff. So if you guys are interested in that or like self-help in general, make sure to check this book out. I need to go get the mail. The bag has been secured. I literally ran. I don't think that I have anything with me physically that I can show but I have a note that says things I have on the way literally so one thing that I purchased that I have had on my to-do not my to-do list my want list for a hot minute is a pair of orange and cream Nike Dunks I don't know when my obsession with like orange really started um but I know that it did and it's like specifically with shoes I have orange shoes but they have to be like a certain vibe you know what I mean does that make any sense and I don't want orange and white I didn't want the Syracuse I wanted the laser ones I just wanted them to look different and cool and be like just neat you know so now that Chase plays for the Mets I was like this is the perfect opportunity for me to get these shoes it will go with so many of my outfits so you know I just took that as an opportunity to to go ahead and buy them I really really wanted them I wanted to wear them to his games and stuff so I bought those. I love them. I'm a big sneaker girl. Big sneaker girl. And I love them. So let's continue with the shoes. These New Balance 550s I have wanted forever. I have wanted this specific colorway forever. And they're so hard to find in my size. I wear a women's 10 and a half, which is a men's 9. I have a big foot. I'm 5'10". I don't know what you want me to tell you. You know? So that's that. I ordered those. I've loved those forever. Like I said, like they're just... They go with everything. I love the style of the 550s. I have a pair that's the Amy Leon Dior um, collaboration that they did. Love them. Uh, they're the cream and brown ones. Next pair that I got are these blue and white gazelles. I thought that these would be so cute. And then, so after Chase leaves sp spring training with the Mets, he's still with Mets, but he's like the one of the um, uh, teams, like he'll move up. So he goes to the Brooklyn Cyclones. And then their colors are like red, white, and blue. And so I was like, perfect. I'll be able to wear the blue with, you know, everything from... For the Mets and for the Brooklyn Cyclones. So, love that. Also, just love these shoes. Like, they're just different. You know, I was like, I'll be able to wear those with so much in the spring and summer. I really want the um, black and cream Sambas, though. I, I really want those. And they were on sale yesterday for like $60. So, I should have bought them. Next up, I bought these other Prada shoes. I can't believe that I forgot to show them to you. I actually have them with me, but they're in a, like they're already in the box because I'm sending them back. They only had a size 10 available. And like I said, I wear a size 10 and a half. So, I ordered the 10 because I was like... On the website, um, I ordered one pair from Nordstrom and one pair from Saks Fifth Avenue. And the gold ones are from Saks Fifth Avenue. So I ordered the other pair from Nordstrom. And it said that they ran half a size, like, two, um, or half a size big. Or, like, they ran they ran big so you could, you know, size down if you needed to. And I was like, okay, perfect. You know, like, I wear a 10 and a half, but all they have is a 10 in stock. So I'll just get these. And they came in and they just didn't fit how I wanted, to, how I wanted them to. They were just, like, a little bit too short. And I was like, I don't want to pay this much for a pair of shoes that I'm not absolutely positively in love with. So, I didn't. Um, you know, that's that. It is what it is. I'm really excited to get them in, though, because I ordered them literally yesterday. The, the 10 and a half came back in stock, and I was like, and they should be here tomorrow because I paid for fast shipping because I leave again for Florida on Monday. And I was like, I want to I wanna wear those shoes, you know, so... Those should be in. I'm excited about that. Next up, I placed a White Fox order. You guys, I literally love White Fox so much. I worked with them one time. And I didn't, like, I had never ordered anything from White Fox before. And then I worked with them and I was like, I love this. I have placed multiple orders on White Fox by, like, my own self. I literally adore them. Like, I love their quality of clothing. I thought they were going to be, like, I don't mean this in a bad way, but I thought they were going to kind of give, like, janky vibes and I was just like oh, that's you know not the journey that's not what I want they in fact don't give janky vibes at all they give the literal best vibes they're so so good I love them they have the best quality clothes they're like the packaging that it comes in is so nice I just love White Fox and 
you know, that's besides the point. But I will put over here, like, some of the things I ordered. I ordered a lot of matching sets because in the summertime, because I do work from home, like, I'm not going out a whole lot. You know what I mean? So, like, if I'm going out, it's to the post office. Or if I'm going out, it's, like, not a big deal. And so, I just wanted some cute matching sets to, like, just throw on a t-shirt and biker shorts to have whenever I go to Florida, to have whenever I'm in Brooklyn, like just to have. That's this, that's the kind of stuff that I throw on all the time. And then I got some like cute pieces. I got the blue corset top for um, the games, like I said. So that'll be really cute with the orange dunks. That'll also be really cute with the gazelles. So that's cute. Um, the next thing is I got these blue cargo pants. They actually already came in and they're sitting at the bottom of the stairs. I forgot to bring them up. But I bought those for the games as well. So again, Brooklyn Cyclones and then for the Mets, it'll look really cute. Um, they kind of have an odd fit, but I feel like all cargo pants have a bit of an odd fit. So I'm like not even that worried about it, you know. Um, it just is what it is. Next up, I have a PR package from Revolve. So I'll show you guys the stuff in that. The first thing I got from Revolve is this Lacademy top. I had seen this on the website and it was so cute. You can't really tell all that much about it. But on, it's like... It just has this one singular button. And also, Lacademy is really expensive, but it's one of the brands that um, Revolve lets you pick from for, like, PR gifting. And they have the best quality. Like, I love, love Lacademy. So, basically, it just has this, like, one eye hook, if I can get it hooked. So, it just fits like this. It's got, like, the little shoulder pads, and then it just is a little, like, cropped, cropped vibe. And obviously, like, I have on a blank black tank underneath this. But if you didn't have on anything, it would just, like, be open here. You could obviously still wear your bra with it. It would just be a little bit open on the bottom. But I love the fit of it and think it's super cute. And then, obviously, I got some other things. Because why would I not? Also, this top, if you're interested, is from Aritzia. I don't know if they still have it because I don't know how Aritzia, like, does their... Like, you know how sometimes you'll go on there and it's like, that literally doesn't exist anymore? I got this top from Super Down, which I love Super Down, but also some of their stuff, I'm just like, what are y'all doing? Like, be honest. I wanted a red top because I love red in the summertime with a tan. I think it's so cute. Uh, this one has like a cross back and it has a really low back and it just ties right here in the front. Also, you can adjust the straps, thank God, because if you couldn't, like, I don't, I don't really know what you'd do, to be honest. I guess you just would have the world's longest straps. But nevertheless, that's the vibe. Um... I just thought it was cute, you know, for summer, but I don't know if it's going to have, like, enough coverage. I don't know if it's going to be, like, a little a little too much. I guess we'll see. I got this, and it's an extra small, but I don't know, what, like, what world this is an extra small in, because it is, I'm telling you right now, not going to fit me. Like, I, I swear to you, this is, like, a medium large. This is B-I-G big, okay? I picked up this. This is from, is it from Academy? No, this is also super down. And I thought it would be so pretty in the spring and summer. I love a level one shoulder moment, you guys know. And it's also stretchy. Like, it looks like it would be a cotton material, but it's a really stretchy material. And it just is really nice quality. Because some stuff from Super Down I'm, like, not very impressed with. But this I love and think it will be really pretty. And I got this bathing suit, which I have yet to try on. But I love these, um, these kinds of bottoms. The scrunchy bottoms i didn't used to love them but now i do this is from the brand lovers and friends and then the top is like this little bandeau top so i don't know if this is gonna fit me because it looks this looks like a headband and it's for your girls okay but i guess we'll see but i love the color and i thought with well, a tan sign me up last item i got is this academy little tank top again the straps are adjustable on this. I'm going to have to adjust, like, literally all these straps because these are teeny. But I thought this was so pretty. And I thought that this would have, like, um, a colored liner behind it. Or not, like, a liner, but, like, a... You guys know what I'm talking about. I thought it would be, like, colored. It's fully not. So I don't know how you're supposed to not show all your boob. Um, I'm going to have to figure that out. But I thought it was so pretty. It would be really pretty with a skirt. be really pretty with, like, really anything. It's just a pretty top. So... Other than that, though, I'm pretty sure that's it. Like, I have all the haul things on my bed, but I'm pretty sure that's those are the only new-ish, new in my wardrobe things. I'm looking around and, like, make sure I'm not forgetting anything. If I did, I can, like, I can link it below for you guys. But those are all of my new in purchases, all my new things that I'm trying to get because I feel like these are staples that are going to be around forever. And then, of course, we had some PR. But I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I thought it was, like, a little different, you know, kind of switch up for, um my usual content. So like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe before you leave. And I hope you guys have a fabulous day.